I'm gonna have to wait on that. <laughs> Friends, it's been a little while since we went through the shop. There's been some changes, some upgrades, uh, more sleds, more tools, more employees, all that jazz. If you haven't been to the shop, we are located in Afton, Wyoming. We are just on the north side of Afton. There's usually about 30 trucks here and multiple snowmobile trailers and crap everywhere and there's snowmobile tracks all over out in the field. But uh, let's go check it out. Come on in. So this is our office. We built this a couple years ago. I don't know if you've been in here. Maybe you have, a lot of people have, a lot of people haven't. Um, but in here, you know, we have a point of sale system now. This is where we do all of our paperwork for the forest service. This is where people come and like check in for their tours. You know, we have all of our merch in here. It's looking a little empty. We've been getting ransacked a little bit, but merch. We have five and nine dealer stuff. So we sell gloves, monos, goggles. That's all stuff we stock. We can get helmets and boots and all that stuff, but we're currently not stocking that stuff. But you know, we do a lot of work with SLP, ZRP, T-Rex hoods, you know, Raptor, all that stuff we're a dealer for. So we're doing more and more and more of that. Uh, this is all really cool. This is where I spend most of my time these days, even though I want to be in the other room, like most of us. So this is the shop. Yep, we got a few sleds. There's always a few torn apart at some point. There's usually tools everywhere. There's usually some type of music. We play rap, we play reggae, we play rock, we play Christian gospel. I don't know, we play it all. It just depends on the day. Uh, you know, we got some, some twin pipes going on over here. We're working on my dad's sled there. Some more twins here. I mean, we got, you know, we're flashing the skidoo for a buddy here. We got all sorts of stuff. So yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go look at the gym. We got a gym over here. So I don't know if you've been in here, we actually have a gym. Uh, this gets used a lot in the summer and not at all in the winter, pretty much. Because when we're riding every day, I'm not Caleb, I don't need to work out for 19 hours. Just kidding, Caleb. I'm just kidding. I don't, uh, I don't work out in the winter pretty much at all because we're riding so much. So I have something that's really cool for me is I have a, pretty much all of my old helmets since I was 16. I don't have all of them but uh, up here right now, but I probably have a dozen more than this. And then some of my really good friends helmets, some, some pro player shredders out of Sweden have signed some stuff for me. You know, like a lot of cool memories for me in here. Uh, I got all my helmets from Chile. I got my helmets from Russia and Sweden and Canada trips and Alaska trips. And everywhere I've been, I've ridden a snowmobile. I have helmets for that. And they all hold some pretty cool memories, some pretty bad concussions in a few of them too. But yeah, so pretty cool. Kind of a cool little sentimental thing there. More slides. Some torn apart, obviously. Always changing stuff. That's how you make stuff better. So this is kind of like a dirty little closet, but this is a pretty cool new addition. We have a sauna. A really good friend of mine named Len Bruder out of Chicago built this for us. Uh, amazing for the really cold days when you need to come in here and thaw your bones. It's great for just a good sweat session, you know, before or after the gym, stuff like that. So we're stoked to have that thing up and running. It, we just got it running out like maybe three weeks ago or something, but uh, so very happy about that. Obviously some, some more toys, kind of a big toy shop really. But, yeah, cool. Another thing we built this year is we built a new mezzanine. We moved all the parts out of this room up there. We're getting more and more parts. So we needed more room and uh, thank goodness we ended up with a big building. So we're able to do that. So we'll go check it out. All right, here we are in our new little parts mezzanine. Uh, this is constantly undergoing work or under construction. You know, we're constantly getting new parts in and organizing and we still have more organizing to do. But guys, if you need any help with clutching stuff for Polaris's, if you need any type of A-arms or shocks or hoods or belts or whatever, a lot of this stuff we have in years past, we're always gone and we're always riding. Now we're trying to actively sell these parts, help riders in the community. You know what I mean? If you rip the side of a sled off, if you need some help with clutching, if you, whatever, if you need some general help with your sled, we're trying to keep the shop open as much as we possibly can. I'm not saying every day, 
but as much as we possibly can to help you guys out. So if you need some players parts or you're in Western Wyoming, please hit us up. If you need some SLP stuff or silver stuff or whatever, some of the stuff we have here and a lot of the stuff that we break when we hit stuff, you know, Players Build's a great machine, but we hit stuff. We all do it, right? So if you need something, let us know. We're here to help. We want to help. We want to get you back out of the snow and having fun with your buddies. So this is a new addition. I'm pretty excited about it. We're going to keep expanding on this and uh, we'll go from there. Pretty cool. Here we are. We got a gear room. Uh, to be honest, this place is in the constant need of help for the most part. We're always running in and out of here every day, charging radios and in reaches and I mean, all of our climate gloves and our Ignite goggles. I mean, this is like 509 Central, man. If you ever need a mono or whatever, you come in here, you grab some stuff. But this is, uh, this is, it's doing okay right now. But the gear room definitely gets pretty messy. I'm not going to lie to you about it. You know, we have tons of Avi bags and all this stuff that constantly needs charged and checked and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so we have a little gear room for all of our stuff. We have a washer dryer, another sink, you know, things like that. So uh, this is a... Uh, a pretty busy hectic part of the shop uh every morning and every night it seems like we're in here throwing stuff at each other and tanks laying on everyone's gear it's kind of weird but yeah huh. <laughs> Good. something pretty cool we started doing last year so instead of like yearbooks or photos or whatever you want to call it lars had a good idea and so we started having a lot of clients sign a helmet so it's kind of cool we had a lot of clients sign this i think i think we got Almost all of them, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, I think this year maybe we'll do a hood. Uh, you know, we have some takeoff players hoods. I think that'd be pretty neat. Uh, try and get a hood and hang it in the shop and then we'll have something for every year. Uh, you know, just trying to get some more cool memorabilia stuff. I mean, you know, we'll see how it goes, but I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope everyone gets a couple feet of pow for Christmas because we all need it and we're all hoping for it. And uh, stay safe guys and have fun.